Attack on Mika. My name is Hiroto Takagi. I'm a 19 year old med student studying to become a neurosurgeon. The pediatrics department is on the fifth floor. Her name is Mayu Hirose. We go to the same med school and we're also currently dating. She is studying to become a pediatrician and she volunteers at the pediatrics department on the weekends. I started following her and we actually enjoyed our time together while we volunteered. You there! Will you try on this glass heel? A Cinderella placed her foot into the heel. It was a perfect fit. Ah, you are the woman I met at the ball. Please, will you m m m m I mean, marry me? The prince is stuttering. Cinderella lived happily ever after with her ditzy prince. Mayu would always say that she wanted to give hope to kids who were fighting for their lives. I was proud of how she behaved in front of those kids. I'm sorry, Hiroto. Hmm? For what? I always make you come with me. What are you talking about? I like helping you out, so don't stop now. <laughs> I love you, Hiroto. Whoa, what got into you? I don't want to just go home, though. It's only seven. Do you want to go grab dinner? I said that to try to spend more time around her, and she burst out into laughter. <laughs> just be honest and say I want to spend more time with you. Oh, so you knew. How about we go to the movies next weekend? Oh, that's a good idea. Didn't you say there was something you wanted to watch? It was right as we were about to get into the restaurant that we decided on. As I entered the intersection, a car ignored the light and came in from the left. Hiroto! After she yelled my name, we had a sudden impact. Mayu. I called out for Mayu while my consciousness faded away and didn't hear a response. When I woke up, I was in a hospital bed. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, um, where's the woman I was with? Don't get up yet. I was lucky because I only had a few scratches on me. Mayu had been knocked out from the impact of the crash. We could see that there is some damage to the cranium, so we're unsure if she'll recover. No, it's not possible. I had prayed for a miracle every day my prayers would go unanswered, and she would be comatose. Mayu. 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 It's my fault. It's because I invited her to dinner. I stole her dream from her. I spent every day in dread after I lost her smile. Hey! Hey! What did you write? That's just the storyline. I'm pretty honest. What did you write? I hope we become doctors that will be able to give hope to everyone. How to dream big, you know? That's so Mayu of you. What does that mean? Am I being too greedy? Nope. I'm just saying you're always true to your dreams. Really? Really, really? Mayu wouldn't give up. Why did I join med school? I realized that I was motivated by Mayu, and I was motivated again. This doesn't mean it's the end. Even if I can't do anything now, I will do everything in my power to make her better. I studied like crazy afterwards. After graduating med school, I successfully acquired my medical license. After I finished my time as an intern, I worked at a college hospital and studied more. The days turned to weeks, turned to years. It was 15 years after the accident. These 15 years, she had been in a coma and in the hospital. Mayu, I'm sorry I took so long. I'm your doctor now. At age 34, I became her neurosurgeon. I was able to go back to Mayu finally. This is the real start line. Let's do this, Mayu. I had started her treatment. Sometimes I would play music she loved. Remember when we went on a drive together and listened to this? I read her books sometimes. Cinderella lived happily ever after with her ditzy prince. However, no matter how much I talked or touched her, she would not respond. I need to do more aggressive treatments. I was looking all over the world for any hope. All papers about patients recovering from comas. No case was too obscure. If there was any chance that she would recover, I looked everywhere. However, one day, you want to terminate treatment? 
When I suggested a new treatment plan to her parents, they responded in a way I never expected. I'm sorry, doctor, but she's been this way for 15 years. We think it's time we accept reality and switch to life support instead. But there have been cases reported overseas where patients have spontaneously recovered after a longer period of time. We know. We were praying that would happen, but the more we would hope, the harder we would fall. I had nothing to say back to her. No matter how much time passed, her parents' words stuck with me. For 15 years, they had to see their daughter sleep. They must have endured more pain than imaginable. Maybe I can't do this, Mayu. Just as I let out a little weakness. Here, I'll tell. I heard her familiar voice and couldn't believe it. Mayu? I had no idea what was going on. Mayu, who was supposed to be comatose, was standing right in front of me. How? Hang on. You can be a little bit happier than that. Wait, but how? What's going on? Hey, Hiroto, why did you become a neurosurgeon? That moment, I remembered something from college. It was just as Mayu and I started dating. Hey, Hiroto, why do you want to become a neurosurgeon? Hmm, the human brain is kind of like space. Space? Yeah. Your brain has memories and logic and sensations. It handles all of it. That is all balanced and is so delicate. Almost seems like space. I guess it's a little childish, huh? I don't think so at all. That's awesome. Really? Yeah, I think that kind of logic is amazing. Space, huh? Well, maybe you'll be the first to discover something too. I... You're going to stop exploring your space? No! I don't want to give up! I don't want to give up on our dreams! Okay, Yvonne. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Mayu? Mayu! Mayu. Mayu! Mayu? She's not here. Was I dreaming? You helped me out again, didn't you? Thank you, Mayu. Thought I could hear Mayu giggling after I whispered to her. Please, let me continue treating your daughter. I understand the struggle that you must be experiencing. I also can't guarantee any success. But I want you to have hope! <sighs> That's what Maya would say when she was still healthy. She hated giving up. She's still fighting too. Doctor, please take good care of her. Thank you! Mayu, I won't give up anymore. You pushed me this far. Now it's my turn to help you. Mayu dreamt of giving hope to kids fighting for their lives. No matter how long it takes, I will chase that dream. I will believe that one day, I'll be able to give someone hope. What story are you going to read us today? Today is about Cinderella and her ditzy prince.